Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners and today we're going to tie a Deer Creek Nymph. The hook I have in a vise is a curved shank size 12. The thread I'm going to use is 6 hot uni thread and is black. I'm going to tie the head thread behind the eye of the hook and I'm just going to come up about one eye length and I'm going to remove the excess to start out with bead chain eyes I'm going to tie them in right there at one eye length behind the eye of the hook and I put them on by wrapping five times one way five times the opposite way and then go five times under the beads and over the hook shank. I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap a base of thread down to the rear. And now to start, I'm going to use pheasant tail for the tail. And I'm going to take about a dozen of these fibers. And I want them about the length of the body. I'm going to tie them in at the rear. I'm going to give them a wrap underneath. And it looks like I caught one. Let's see what we got there. There we go. And I'm going to secure this, the rest of this, down to the hook. So I'll have a nice even body. I'm going to bring this up to the thorax area. And I'm going to stop right behind the eyes. Doesn't matter a real lot. As long as you stop somewhere in the thorax area. And bring that thread back down. Try to keep those wraps tight. and stop short and then come back up and this will build a taper and go back down stop short and come back up Now I'm going to go ahead and take that nymph skin. I'm going to tie that in right behind the eyes. And once I get it it's tight, secured, I'm going to pull it tight and bring this back. And pull that pretty tight. And I'm going to go ahead and lift that tail one more time. Put a wrap underneath there. And bring that thread back up to the thorax. And I'm going to stop 
short distance from the eyes this time. I'm going to take that, that uh, nymph skin and I'm going to start wrapping it. I'm going to pull it tight. And each wrap you want to overlay the previous wrap by one half. See it's making a nice segment there. And when I reach the thread, I'm going to pull it to the top and tie that off. And we want that to be laying flat right on top. I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to come back on it just slightly to make sure that it's on top. Now I'm going to take the Deer Creek Northern Lights Super Select Seal Fur. And if you look at that close, you see it has uh, some sparkle in there. I'm going to start with waxing the thread. And we can make a dubbing loop. I'm going to take my dubbing whirl, place it on the thread, bring it, bring the thread back up and reattach it right there at the rear and bring it forward and you can bring that thread ahead of those eyes. I'm going to take a few pinches of my dubbing and when I have the dubbing loop filled up going ahead I'm going to go ahead and give my dubbing whirl a twist. Now we're going to, I'm going to pull down on the dubbing whirl. I'm going to hold the thread right by the dubbing and I'm going to give that a spin. And then grab onto it and let go of the thread. And there you have a nice dubbed loop. I'm going to take some of those long guard hairs out of there if they come out. Otherwise I'll cut them out at the, later. And you can do that twice if you'd like depending on how tight you want it. And now we're going to wrap the dubbing loop. Keep that nymph skin out of the way. Make sure you get that first wrap there back there nice. Bring that up in front of the eyes. You can do a little bit of a figure eight there if you'd like. Not really necessary when you have that dubbing loop and it's so hairy. Gonna go back in back of them. There we go, do that little. Made a little bit of a figure eight there. Just to use it up. I'm going to tie that off. I'm going to start cleaning up that head and bring that head back to just behind the eyes. We can take that skin, bring it up over it, pull it down between the eyes. And tie that off. Take that skin once again, wrap in front, and wrap on top of it just a little bit. 
and that will ensure it's secured. I'm going to take my whip finisher. Pull that tight. Now I got some sticking out the, the front there. So I'm just going to hold my fingers on everything and I'm going to burn that stuff off. There we go. Now I got some real long guard hairs. I'm going to trim them away. You can pull the dubbing to the sides for your legs. Try to get them even amounts on each side there. There we go. Here we have a Deer Creek Bead Eye Nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.